from France is WBC International Champion, WMC European Champion and four-time Muay Thai Champion of his home country. Yes, however, this KW Pocata is without elbows. He has the Naruto, the Naruto thing on his head, <laughs> like the Japanese anime. Twenty-seven years of age is Sharuf. He's eighty kilograms and he's exactly one ninety tall, same as his opponent. Bojan Todorovic from Serbia, 1 meter 90 centimeters. However, he has an age disadvantage with 4 years, or it could be an advantage. Depends on how you look at it. <laughs> age could be an advantage, or it could be a disadvantage. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah but most people are 30 years and older, they get really physical strong. You know? Yes, yes. Wako Pro World Champion in K1 style. Uh, has also a bronze medalist from last year's World Championships of Waco, won the National Megdan FC Championship, and now he's coming on strong here in the ring of Senshi. He's already familiar with this organization, familiar with this ring. He knows what it takes, he got what it takes, but let's see if the uh, opponent in front of him will be too much for him tonight. He's a world champion in kickboxing for amateurs Waco for 2021 in style of K1. Champion of professional Serbia fight nights, Megdan. We see, we hear a strong support from his Serbian friends. We saw a lot of Serbia guys here in the Senshi camp during the week, so we can hear them cheering his, cheering their fighter yeah, Todorovic yeah, from yeah. Serbia. Very young but very talented, very successful for his age, Todorovic. Yeah, not too much different. <laughs> <laughs> not too much different. But exciting fights, many new girls. Yes, yes. Some close ones. Yeah. I think we should have Montana every time opening the cards. <laughs> if the card is so good, huh? <laughs> I'm happy she fights with Chess, uh, you know. It's a good growing organization. Yeah. Todorovic staying strong, blocking the kicks of his opponent, trying a left hook and a right hook now. Fighters getting separated. Nice push kick here by Sharuf. Todorovi trying to change level with his boxing. Now an inside low kick. Yeah, kick a lot. He's a little bit tight stand on the yeah. Todorovic swinging hard with his hands, throwing 100% behind his punches. Oh, now a nice right hand by Todorovic. Very good defense by Todorovic, staying really compact, pressing his opponent to the ropes. Oh, 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 nice high kick. High high kick, that's good. We see a lot more aggressive Todorovic than usually here in the ring of Senshi. Trying to get really close to his opponent. Ooh, oh, now a nice left hand, perfect counter. He smells blood and keeps on pushing forward. And Sharuf, very good tactically, gets into the clinch. Nice blocks here by Todorovic. Marching yeah. on forward, pushing. 
Güzel. Hitting the body night the head. He's like a sniper, very calculated with his shots. Waiting for the perfect moment to attack. You see all the pressure he does is from his footwork. He's just walking him down forward. Yeah, yeah. And then when he finds the right moment, he just yeah. shoots. There's more... When they have all the time pressure, you know, it costs a lot of energy. When they, fall, they pressure you all the time, have no space, you don't give him space. Yes, but to master how to pressure is really difficult, right? It's, it's right yeah. one thing to just walk forward and eat a lot of punches, and it's another thing to know how to cut angles yeah, and pressure. The thing pressure. is, I make the pressure a little bit more distance. I don't get touched too much, I make it a little... Seven bout out of 13 here at the 12th edition of Senshi in St. Constantine and Elena. We have some Greco in the ring between both fighters who are eager to prove themselves. Opening up with low kicks is Todorovic trying to take the middle of the ring again. Now a nice one two and a hook after that by Todorovic. Sharuf is now starting to respond. Some spinning attacks by Todorovic. How should uh, Sharuf try to stop the pressure of Todorovic? How should he make him respect him? Like uppercuts like this, or what should he do? He makes the pressure to stop him before he's with him. Because he comes to him, he don't stop him off. But it's difficult, you know, when somebody comes chasing you all yes, the time, you know? Yes, yes, You have to keep working, because a lot of condition. Maybe some push kicks, we saw Montana use yeah. a lot of the push yeah, kicks. Yeah, kick to the body like Thai style. All this is you can take him in the clinch. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, like this push kick. Yeah, push kick to the body. This is the place where oh, Sharuf shouldn't yeah. be in the corner. Yeah, in the ropes, no good. He's circling away, he's trying to look at the watch. Oh, no, nice push kick. Looks a little bit like Ignacio this style. But the same way. Like, uh, like what? Ignacio. Long time from K1. Ignacio. Ah, Ignacio. Let me, let me think a little yes, bit. Yes, yes. His style a little bit. <laughs> Eastern European. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The Serbian crown loves it. Cheering for their guy. Sharuf is trying to <laughs> look at the watch. Ooh, now a nice combination. If this would have landed, it would have been bad for Sharuf. It seems like though Todorovic is looking too hard for for the knockout and it's hard for him to find a, a knockout. Yeah, yeah, but you do everything with power, you know, she it comes a little bit. Yes. But I think it will come between, because you all the time pressure him, you know. Yes. You all the time pressure, you get tired at the moment. But you know, fight is fight, you never know, you know. Yes. And some people just have are born with the knockout power, right? Some people yeah, just yeah, have it with them. Yeah. Others not that much. 
like those heavy hands, like this guy Florin Lombaggio from Romania. Yeah, you can see hard punch. With the left hand, he clipped him right at the end of yeah. the glove on yeah. the chin. And he can take one, you know, and he give one. It's like yeah, a street it's... fight more. Yeah, yeah. Not very technical, but uh, he has three wins out of three fights in the Ring of Senshi. Yeah. Very strong, very powerful. People like this kind of fight. Yeah. People yeah. like you know, Mike Tyson. Yes. Not too technical, too. Yeah. He hits so close. Yes. And in the beginning, like in the first round, I saw that Lombardo's attacks didn't really work, and I thought, huh, maybe, maybe his style didn't, wouldn't work this time. And in the second round, yeah. he just needed yeah. one hook to end the fight. Long time ago in the K1, we had like Mike Bernardo. Uh -huh. The yes. end was not too good, but in the beginning, yes. it was really nice. One punch for the finish. Yes, yes. Some record told me by the part he had with him. He put him in a lockdown. But that's why the items on the guns also. Yeah. <laughs> And we're going to round three. Todorovic and Sharuf exchanging in the center of the ring. Sharuf now lands a right, nice right hand. Those might have been some of the best attacks he had so far in the fight. Sam Greco separating both men not to clinch. Oh, now a nice left hand by Todorovic. Yeah, he's coming back a little bit. A kick to the body by Sharuf. Both fighters slow down the pace a little bit, but still keep on marching forward and pressuring yeah, yeah, yeah. his Todorovic. Now trying to counter after a push kick. Very solid defense by Todorovic so far. All the time, the pressure. Yes, I think this is really important in a judge's eyes. Even yeah, yeah. The final guy who fight forward is the most uh, exciting to feel. You look at it, it's also normally the fight to go forward to wins most of the time. We saw Nicola using the jab more. Now he tries to set up something with the jab again. Sam Greco separating both men again. Nice left hook by Todorovic. Touch to the body. Ooh, now a jumping near 10 by Cheruf. Final minute of round three. Oh, was this an elbow attempt? It looks like an elbow attempt. Final 45 seconds. Sudorovic trying to prove that he did everything he can to the judges, that he deserves to win the fight. Cheruf not backing away. Both fighters in the edge of exhaustion. Doing everything to their powers. Final 15 seconds, spinning back fist attempt by Todorovic. Ooh, was that a slip? <laughs> that was a weird moment. <laughs> Final seconds, and both fighters lifting their hands victoriously. We're gonna go to the judge's decision now. In my opinion, it should go to Todorovic. What do you think, Mr. Alex? I think so. A little bit, a little bit more he did. First round for sure, you know. And he made the pressure all the time. But the French guy came back a little bit uh, second and third round. But the first round was for sure his fight. His uh, round. And he did a little bit more. He was the fighting, making the fight. You always go forward. We will go to the judges' scorecard. Now, maybe we will go to a fourth round. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. Today we saw a fourth round. 
let's see anyway another three minutes of these fighters <laughs> we see a nice shot here another three minutes of these fighters will definitely be a pleasure for the fans of Senshi watching around the world in their home so the ones watching here at St. Constantine and Elena Let's see what the judges have said. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Judge one has scored a fight 28-30 for the fighter in the blue corner. Judge three, wait, wait, wait. Judge three has scored oh. the fight 29-29. <laughs> it's a draw. And Judge 2 has scored a fight, 27-30 for the fighter, and the winner in the blue corner, Nikola Todorovic. <laughs> yes, one fighter decision. gave it for Sharuf and two other, uh, one judge, excuse me, and two other judges gave it for Todorovic. So Todorovic winning here in the 12th edition of Senshi, a hard-fought victory, a decision after three very hard rounds, he kept on pushing forward kept on looking for the knockout, kept on looking for the finish, but his opponent was just too tough. Props for Sharuf here in his um, debut at the Ring of Senshi. He really gave his best, but just the pace and the tenacity yeah, the pressure, the pressure was, was yeah, yeah. too strong. Too strong. Since they had the knockout, wrapped the Senshi around the waist of Nikola Todorovic. Peter, thank you so much for joining me. This is my team. I'm sure we'll meet again. Hopefully, we'll meet again. Hopefully, we'll meet again. Kudos for the fighters who really give it their own role, showing, showing up and uh, leaving it all in the ring. Nikola Todorovic from Serbia once again proved that he belongs here in this elite fighting organization. Senshi Sharuf also giving Thank his best in his nine minutes here now in the ring of Senshi. Now it's time for fight number 12.